there is an incredible level of enthusiasm right now amongst not just Indian students but the overall Indian diaspora with the visit that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is having here in Singapore starting from tomorrow. Uh, what we have seen in the last 10 years is the stature of India grow, not just in Singapore, across the entire world, right? And this particular visit is even more special because this is happening after almost five years now, the last one being in 2018. But this also happens after two weeks, right after the 3 plus 3 meet that happened uh, with uh, Mr. S. Jay Shankar, uh, uh, Ms. Sita Raman and uh, Piyush Goel, uh, Minister Piyush Goel. So, after the uh, 3 plus 3 talks, now PM Modi is visiting, so there will obviously be talks about development, partnership, collaboration between India and Singapore on multiple levels, be it technology exchange, be it FDI, be it trade uh, expansion, all those. And that just uh, creates a buzz among not just Indians but also Singaporeans because now India is looked at as a big market. Since this is India's century as it has been dubbed already and there is absolutely no doubt that it is, this is not an India century. So there is excitement among Indian people as well as Singaporeans and other diasporas as well. Visit hai kal se Singapore ke liye paanchmi bar PM aa rahe hain. Kis tarah se dekhte hain? Kitna ye relationship aap ye yahan pe jo Indians rehte hain, aap log student hain, kaam karte hain, aap logon ke liye kitna beneficial hoga? सर मैं अभी एमबीए का स्टूडेंट हूँ और मैं सेकंड ईयर का स्टूडेंट हूँ और मेरा पहला पूरा साल बिजनेस और जियोपॉलिटिक्स स्ट्रेटजिक रिलेशन को पढ़ने में गया है तो मैं इस चीज़ को बोल सकता हूँ कि सिंगापुर भारत का सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट स्ट्रेटजिक पार्टनर है भारत की 100 परसेंट जी में से 30 परसेंट का योगदान सिंगापुर करता है तो आप इसी चीज़ से इमेजिन कर सकते हैं कि सिंगापुर का इम्पोर्टेंस कितना है और इस्पेशली राइट नाउ जो ग्लोबल सिचुएशन है जो कि डी रिस्किंग और डी कपलिंग की बात हो रही है ये समय भारत के लिए सदी का सबसे महत्वपूर्ण समय है और ये समय भारत को किसी भी हाल में इसका फ़ायदा उठाना ही पड़ेगा इसके लिए सिंगापुर की बहुत प्रमुख भूमिका है क्योंकि भारत को अगर सेमीकंडक्टर में आगे बढ़ना है तो सेमीकंडक्टर में सिंगापुर एक बहुत ही सशक्त देश है और मेरे हिसाब से भारत को सिंगापुर के साथ मिलकर सेमी में मैनुफैक्चरिंग शुरू करनी चाहिए और आगे ग्रोथ को बढ़ाना चाहिए एज यू नो दैट पी एम ंग So I think PM has a very clear vision, right? He wants to make in India and he wants to grow India as a digital hub, right? Be it manufacturing, be it technology, he wants India to be at the top. And I think Singapore acts as a great model because a lot of things in Singapore that are being currently done can be transported back to India as is. So I'm, I'm looking forward to like joint ventures in semiconductors, in terms of building smart cities, in terms of smart manufacturing, in terms of skill development because what Singapore has done successfully can be very easily replicated in India because the Indian... In the Indian people itself have sort of built Singapore, right? And I'm sure that these skills are very much transferable. And I see India replicating these skills very well. And I think India is on a growth trajectory like nobody else. So I, I see this to be a very historic visit. And I'm very, very looking forward, very happily to what Prime Minister Modi says tomorrow on his visit. About the people who are basically Indians living in Singapore, I'll say uh, this one thing. Uh, so definitely the India's uh, image has basically been improving as an as an leader across globe after the leadership of Mr. Narendra Modi, and that we are feeling here as well. Uh, in terms of uh, in terms of the the relations, kind of if you'll see the relations are also kind of basically getting more and more tighter. In uh, if, if if you if you take any other countries, uh, including Singapore, and the perception of people is also changing uh, in terms of growth. Uh, India now now India is becoming as an as an uh, leader in almost uh, entire Southeast Asia. A lot of basically manufacturing units are 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 uh, moving towards India because of the initiatives of Mr. Narendra Modi because they are. 
uh, he is focusing more on make in india thing and that is kind of increasing or uh, uh, as in as in gdp this this will get benefited uh, to us in 2030 we are looking to be a third largest economy of the world that is also been uh, an achievable target which has been set by narendra modi so definitely we are looking forward to uh, reach that target as soon as possible and uh, as an as an as an us we are we are kind of we can uh, act as an ambassador between india and and singapore because we are we are we are here we are understanding the scenarios we understand the macro environment which is been happening so definitely the mu mus and decisions which will happen tomorrow by after this visit they they are we are expecting them to be fruitful and uh, and the kind of uh, the work which we have seen in past 10 years under the leadership of mr narendra modi uh, definitely we are looking forward for a great relationships and especially in semiconductor